Tracy. So today we are going to have lunch together. So, so frequently I hear from my clients, you know, I don't have the time to eat healthy. And listen, I understand you're busy, we're all busy, and we often have so many things that we're juggling, but with just a little bit of preparation, you can really take care of yourself, eat healthy, and create your best body and life to really support yourself to be your best. And I know that that's what you want. So. Yes, you do have to prepare in getting some food, getting some groceries, all right? Shouldn't take that long. Once you have an idea of what are the elements that you need, it's a quick little trip to the grocery store each week. You know, often I'll tell my clients, you if you have a pet or a child, you don't have to think about feeding them. So treat yourself with that same level of love, care, and respect, okay? So we are going to do this in real time. I didn't even pre-wash my vegetables because I wanted to show you just how quickly you can make this lunch. So let's start the clock. So we're gonna start with some arugula. This is pre-washed arugula, okay? That's a major, major time saver. Just a couple handfuls of that. Yep, I dropped some. These are Persian cucumbers. Rinse it, okay? Um, Persian cucumbers are awesome because they don't have seeds, all right? So you just cut the ends off of your Persian cukes, cut it in half, cut it into quarters, put them together, chop, chop, chop. Don't make fun of me if you're a chef. <laughs> um, I'm not, so that's that. All right, then I'm really obsessed with some sugar snap peas here these days, all right? Um, so these are organic sugar snap peas, a quick little rinsey doodle, and then just put them on your cutting board here. You don't have to get fancy. I actually like my vegetables in sort of big chunks for two reasons. One, because I'm lazy, and number two, because I don't know, it just is easier to eat. Um, then, you know, I might use tomatoes if I had tomatoes. Um, I do have tomatoes, but I forgot since we're doing this real time. That's just how we're rolling today. Then I'm gonna cut a little bit of tempeh in here for a bit of protein. I like to think of the tempeh as like croutons, all right? Tempeh is amazing because it is fermented, and if you don't know about fermented foods, make sure to check out this video. Um, the fermentation process is really wonderful for your body. It puts good, healthy bacteria in your gut. Keeping with our fermented foods, I've got a little kimchi. You know from that other video that I'm obsessed with kimchi. This is so good. Oh my God, the smell of this alone is killing me. It just smells so good. Um, it also gives you a little bit of color. You get some red. I'm gonna put a lot of kimchi in here because that's just how I'm gonna roll. Then, uh, a little bit of freshly ground peppa, fancy pants, um, then some sea salt. I like gray sea salt these days. You can do whatever you want. Now, I do have kimchi in here, which um, has some salty flavor components anyway, so you don't have to get crazy. Then I'm gonna show you a serious top secret, campoli secret here. So, this is my mother's salad dressing, which is awesome. Anyone that has Carol Campoli salad <laughs> knows that it is amazing and they always go nuts for this. So she does it often with red wine vinegar. I, I tend to really like Latin food, so I'm gonna do it with white vinegar, okay? So one part of, actually two parts. Let's do two vinegars because the salad is pretty big. So two vinegar to one of your oil, okay? So this is just extra virgin olive oil, okay? Ooh. Do a little extra there just because I spilled. Um, that's it. Ta da! So that is the time it takes to make lunch, okay? If you are on the go and you're in the office and you do this the night before, you could literally take a plastic bag, you know, one of those zip top bags and put this in here. You could use a mason jar if, you're, if you want to keep it glass. So super simple, really delicious, really satisfying. Mix it up, you could do avocado in here, you could do some carrot in here, some tomato. This is just what I had and I wanted to share with you. This is often what I will have for lunch. Two seconds, delicious keeps me energized, keeps me healthy, keeps me fit, keeps me happy, keeps me, I don't know, amazing. So 
I hope that you like this recipe. Make sure to take care of yourself. Leave me a comment below and let me know what's your favorite thing to have for lunch. And also, if you're not already, be sure to go over to tracycampoli.com. Join my community. That's where I share tons of recipes, tips, fun stuff, just like this that I only share over there. So I will see you over there. Okay, bye.